it's one of the best consumer protection documents in all of American business. That's what the franchise disclosure document is. It's the facts. Welcome to another episode of Franchise Feedback. My name is Terry Coker, and I'm here with Ray Fanning. Hi, everyone. Great to see you today. Here's what we do with these episodes of Franchise Feedback. We take your questions, and we have our mythical mailbag. It's actually an email inbox most of the time, but we call it a mailbag because it makes us laugh, and we hope it makes you laugh. And so, Ray, dip your hand into that uh, mythical mailbag and tell me what question we have today. Absolutely, Terry. And uh, because I'm really old school, I have to print off questions so I can read them. Uh, (laughs) You do that too? (laughs) I do that too. In today's mailbox, what we have is a great question from Christine in Texas. Christine Christine in in Texas. Texas. So, So Christine's question is, what is the FDD? What do I do with it? Oh. Which question should we answer first? What is it or what do you do with it? Let's start with what is it? Yeah, that makes the most sense. So it is called the Franchise Disclosure Document, created in the late 70s. Don't hold me to this, but I think it was 1979 (laughs) by the Federal Trade Commission when franchising got started. So McDonald's, everybody knows, right? After the success of McDonald's, lots of franchise companies, lots of companies started franchising, created franchise companies, kind of the Wild West, and the government stepped in and said, you're going to have to present the facts of your case, the facts of the investment to people that want to buy this. Kudos to the government. It's one of the best consumer protection documents in all of American business. That's what the franchise disclosure document is. It's the facts. What do you think it is, Ray? It's the facts. And it's a great way to compare apples to apples, oranges to oranges, when you're looking at different franchise companies. So it gives you a framework to review and to compare. And it leads us to your second question, which is, what do I do with it? Well, you need to read it. You need to review it. It's a reference document. And we can give you some uh, feedback on how to do that. We can give you a structure to it. But what you need to do is to do it, to spend the time. It's not a book that you're going to probably sit down and read in one setting, because unless you're trying to get to sleep, but it is important. And a couple different ways that we can coach you through how to do it. But most importantly, what I want to leave you with, and Terry, I know you agree with me because we've had several talks about this. You need to go through it. You need to underline or somehow mark up things you don't understand, and you need to actually do it. Agree? Agreed. Absolutely. There are 23 sections in every franchise disclosure document. So my advice to my candidates is read one a day. That way, in three weeks, you're going to have the entire document read. So don't sit down with a pot of coffee and try and slug through the whole thing. You're not going to get through it, right? But if you do one section a day, then you will accumulate all of the facts about that business opportunity. And then it's a consumer protection document. And if you never read it, there's no protection. So Well said, well said Terry. You know, accumulate the facts and then verify them. And that's what's great for you. You get the information that they provide you and then as opposed to other businesses or ever getting a job, you not only get the information, you get to do some verification. How great is that? How great is that? And we're going to talk about validation and verification in another one of our franchise feedback sections. And we do question and answer calls with people that want to get their specific questions answered. So if you have a question, write down below, connect with us, um, and we'll reach back out to you and we'll schedule you know, half an hour or so. 15 minutes, whatever's appropriate, where you can get your individual questions answered. We thank everybody for being here and for watching these segments of Franchise Feedback. See you later, Ray. See you, Terry.